A wall that looks perfectly finished can be the oldest lie in the room. And in one Egyptian tomb, sealed since the New Kingdom, high-resolution 3D scanning exposed that lie. A hidden tunnel, tucked behind solid stone, untouched for roughly 3,200 years. This wasn't discovered by smashing through plaster or guessing where a doorway might be. It was found the way you catch a counterfeit, by measuring what the human eye can't reliably judge. Laser scanning and photogrammetry can capture a tomb in obsessive detail, turning every surface into a precise digital twin. When that model is stitched together, millimeter by millimeter, the architecture stops being decoration and starts being evidence. And evidence has a way of betraying the builder's tricks. The first shock is how small the clues are. A seam that shouldn't line up. A patch of plaster with a slightly different skin. A flat plane that is almost flat, but not quite, like someone rushed to smooth it just enough to fool torchlight. In the heat of a tomb, by the flicker of ancient lamps, those differences vanish into shadow. In a 3D model, they stand out like bruises. Then the scans reveal something even more unsettling. The anomaly isn't random. It aligns with the tomb's internal logic, as if the visible rooms were the performance. And this tunnel was the backstage corridor. Its position suggests intent, not accident. Built as part of the plan, then erased from sight. That timing matters. Around the late New Kingdom, Egypt's burial world becomes a contest between the dead and the living. Tomb robbing isn't a rumor, it's an expectation. Protection turns into an arms race, and architects respond the way engineers always do, with misdirection. False doors, dead-end corridors, hidden shafts. Spaces designed to waste time, confuse intruders, and keep the true purpose of the tomb out of reach. A secret tunnel is the purest form of that strategy. Once the digital map points to the hidden route, the approach stays surgical. No dramatic breakthrough, no reckless opening. A tiny inspection point, no bigger than necessary, allows a camera to slip into the void. And then the tunnel appears, narrow, angular, claustrophobic. Not built for comfort, built for control. Here comes the next jolt. The passage doesn't behave like a robber's shortcut. It doesn't slash straight down toward the obvious targets. It runs deliberately, skirting the areas looters would assume matter most. That suggests it wasn't carved in panic after the burial. It was engineered from the start, as a protected route, a concealed access point, or a final layer of security no one was meant to defeat. And the tunnel's proportions tell their own story. It's not spacious, not grand, not ceremonial in the way tourists imagine tombs. It's tight, awkward, punishing. Because if you want a space to remain untouched, you don't just hide it. You make it miserable to exploit. You make every movement slow, every turn expensive. Every minute in the dark feel like a risk. At the far end, the 3D data hints at something worse than a corridor. A cavity with clean boundaries. Too geometric to be a natural gap. Too deliberate to be collapse. A small chamber, sealed, isolated, and waiting. If that chamber exists, it forces a question with teeth. Why hide a space so completely that even the builder's own successors wouldn't find it? Because Egyptian tombs aren't just storage. They're machines for transformation. The art, the text, the architecture, everything is built to shepherd a person through death and into renewed life. A hidden tunnel could be practical security, yes, but it could also be ritual design. A protected route for offerings, a concealed deposit of sacred objects, a sealed cache meant to preserve identity when time tries to erase it. And here's the twist that ruins the usual treasure fantasies. The most important things in a tomb aren't always the biggest or the most valuable. Sometimes the key is small, an amulet placed in the right spot, a bundle of ritual tools, a list of names and titles, a consecration cache that was never meant to be seen again. The power was in the placement, not the display. That's why opening a sealed space is dangerous in a different way than people imagine. A chamber untouched for millennia is a fragile environment. The moment modern air rushes in, materials that survived in darkness can begin to degrade. So if archaeologists proceed, it won't be with spectacle. It will be with monitoring, air sampling, micro cameras, humidity control, conservation planning. Slow steps that protect the very evidence the tunnel was built to guard. 
and the bigger implication is the one that lingers. This isn't just one tomb playing tricks. 3D scanning is turning Egyptian archaeology into a pattern hunt. Once tombs become data, researchers can compare angles, corridor habits, offsets, mistakes that repeat across sites. Those patterns can reveal workshops, and workshops reveal politics. Who built what, when, and why secrecy suddenly became a design priority. A hidden tunnel isn't just a feature, it's a fingerprint. So the discovery sits there now, on a screen, as cold geometry. A corridor no one has walked since bronze weapons were sharp and new. A chamber that hasn't breathed since the age of pharaohs. The stone did its job. It kept the secret. But the builders made one miscalculation. They were designing for torchlight. We're designing for precision. And that means the tomb is no longer just a silent monument. It's a locked puzzle finally being read, one millimeter at a time, until the moment arrives when the hidden space has to answer the only question that matters. Was this tunnel built to protect something or to hide something? And if a 3D scan can expose a hidden tunnel inside a tomb sealed for 3,200 years, it raises a bigger question. What else is still sitting in the dark, just out of reach? Because beneath the Great Pyramid, there's a sealed shaft no one has reached yet. And the deeper researchers look, the more it feels like it was meant to stay hidden. For centuries, the Great Pyramid has been treated like an open book, mapped, measured, dissected. But there is one place inside this colossal stone mountain that no human being has ever entered. Not a chamber, not a tunnel. A sealed vertical shaft buried so deep in the pyramid's core that modern science can barely detect it. And tonight, we follow the trail of clues that suggests this mysterious shaft may hold the last untouched secret of Khufu's ancient engineers. Picture it. You're standing at the foot of the Great Pyramid just before dawn. The stones glow gold in the rising sun, each block larger than a small car stacked with impossible precision. But behind this familiar facade lies something far stranger than the world imagines. Because hidden beneath the ascending passages and grand corridors is a void so perfectly straight, so unnervingly deliberate, that even the researchers who discovered it were left speechless. Our journey begins with a shock. In 2017, the Scan Pyramids mission announced the discovery of a massive unknown void above the Grand Gallery. But that was only the beginning. As techniques improved, muon radiography, microgravity imaging, and new particle detection models, scientists noticed another anomaly. This one wasn't above the gallery. It was below it. A long, narrow, perfectly vertical column of space running down through the blocks, sealed at both ends, and hidden behind walls that haven't been touched since the pyramid was built. And here's the part that makes archaeologists shift uncomfortably the shaft does not align with any known corridor or chamber. It isn't a relieving space. It isn't a structural necessity. It isn't even accessible. It sits like a ghost inside the stone, mathematically straight, intentionally placed, and entirely unreachable. So researchers went back to the data. They compared muon tracks, re-ran imaging sequences, and published new models in 2023 that refined the shape. And the shape held. A vertical void with clean geometric boundaries, about the width of a modern elevator shaft, though far longer and embedded deeper than any exploratory robot can safely reach. Why would the builders carve a vertical shaft no one could enter? Some historians suggest it may be symbolic, perhaps connected to the ancient Egyptian concept of the king's soul travelling to the northern stars. But this shaft doesn't point north. Others propose it's an abandoned construction element but its precision makes that idea crumble instantly. Nothing inside the Great Pyramid is executed with this level of intentionality unless it served a purpose. Which leads us to the strangest possibility. The shaft may connect to a chamber we still haven't found. In the last few years, a new flood of geological surveys around the base of the pyramid uncovered subtle density fluctuations in the bedrock, patterns indicating there may be cavities beneath the monument's core. Some natural, some engineered. If even one of these connects to the sealed shaft, then the Great Pyramid may have a hidden lower chamber, one that has never been opened, never robbed, never documented. 
a chamber untouched for 4,500 years. This is where the story takes a darker turn. In 2024, while testing improved muon sensors near the Queen's chamber, researchers recorded an unusual particle decay signature. Something inside the central layers of the pyramid, very close to the projected depth of the sealed shaft, was blocking the muons in a way that didn't match limestone. It wasn't metal. It wasn't wood. It behaved like a dense composite, something human-made. Whatever sits down there isn't simply air, but accessing it is nearly impossible. To reach the shaft, scientists would need to cut through the pyramid's core blocks, giant masonry slabs locked together like a three-dimensional puzzle. Any attempt to drill risks destabilizing the internal architecture or violating Egypt's strict conservation laws. So the shaft remains sealed, a vertical corridor to nowhere, or perhaps to something we're not ready to see. Still, the clues keep piling up. In 2023, a robotic micro-drone was sent further into the small air shafts branching from the Queen's chamber. What it captured startled engineers. Signs of second and third blocking stones, carefully placed like someone was intentionally sealing something off. These stones sit eerily close to where the vertical shaft is modeled to run, as if multiple systems were designed to protect whatever lies at the core. It's as if the pyramid wasn't built to be opened, it was built to hide. But here's the part that haunts researchers the most. The sealed shaft doesn't behave like a passage meant for a person. It behaves like a mechanical feature, something to shift weight, store an object, or activate a symbolic alignment. A design element that only makes sense when seen through the eyes of engineers who planned the pyramid from the inside out. And until we can access it, until technology advances enough to map it in perfect clarity. The questions linger like sand in the air. Why create a vertical shaft only the builders would ever know existed? Why seal it so thoroughly that not even invaders, tomb robbers or modern explorers could breach it? And most of all, what were the ancient Egyptians trying to protect? Someday, the sealed shaft will be mapped in full. Someday, we'll know whether it hides a chamber, an artifact, or a design principle we still don't understand. But until that day arrives, one truth remains. The Great Pyramid is not finished revealing itself, and the last door inside it, the one no one has ever reached, may change everything we think we know about ancient Egypt. The sealed shaft beneath the Great Pyramid, still untouched, still unreachable, reminds us how much of this monument remains a mystery. And now, Scientists have detected something even more perplexing. A vast, man-made void hidden deep within its core. Stay with me as we step closer to uncovering what the pyramid has kept secret for thousands of years. In 2017, a team of scientists scanning the Great Pyramid made a discovery no one expected. An enormous, man-made void hidden deep inside the structure. It's not a natural formation but a perfectly engineered space sealed off for over 4,000 years. The shocking part? No one knows what's inside. Is it a hidden chamber, a forgotten tomb, or evidence of something far more advanced than history admits? What secrets lie in the mysterious void beside the Great Pyramid? Imagine this, a structure taller than 40 stories, built with stones weighing as much as cars, aligned with the stars themselves. And yet, even with all our technology, the pyramid still hides things from us. It is as if the builders designed it not just as a tomb, but as a riddle. And this latest discovery may be the most puzzling piece of all. The void was first hinted at in 2017, when scientists deployed a technique known as muon tomography. By tracking cosmic particles raining down from space, they created X-ray-like images of the pyramid's insides, to their astonishment, they found not just one, but multiple cavities concealed deep within the stone. One, located above the Grand Gallery, was larger than a passenger plane. But even more astonishing, recent surveys revealed a separate man-made void running along the pyramid's northern flank. Hidden in solid rock for over four millennia, its purpose is entirely unknown. Here's the hook. This isn't just an empty gap. The scans show straight edges and architectural precision. This is no accident of erosion, no natural fissure. It was built deliberately, but why? To answer, we must step back to the age of Khufu, 
the mighty pharaoh who ordered this pyramid's construction. His reign around 2500 BCE was marked by staggering ambition. At his command, tens of thousands of laborers hauled limestone and granite, aligning blocks so perfectly that modern engineers still marvel at their precision. Yet, while ancient texts describe Khufu's power, they are silent about how and why such hidden chambers were created. Theories abound. Some scholars believe the void may be a symbolic passage, echoing the soul's journey to the afterlife. Others suggest it could be a hidden treasury, perhaps even holding artifacts long thought lost to history. Still others argue it may be structural, a pressure relief system meant to keep the pyramid stable. But the architectural placement of this particular void, running beside the northern side, parallel to the main structure, raises new questions. It does not appear to follow the logic of stability. Instead, it hints at a secret the builders wanted to conceal. And here's where things get truly mysterious. Just last year, archaeologists revealed the existence of a previously sealed corridor behind the pyramid's northern entrance, 